air vents. pounds of pressure. One. Still nothing. Time to pull the igniter. Five sixteenths are holding it in. Yeah, your uh, air vent leaks. You know that, right? That's why this thing is open here. Yeah, you had no water in your boiler. It was what? No water in your boiler. Get zero pounds. I had to fill you up. So you have to do that last time too. Yeah. If you have a leak, you gotta take care of that kind of. Yeah, it's gotta be replaced. But um, the igniter is toast. It looks like. So I gotta see. The igniter is wrong. Most likely. Yeah. So you can come back when I get it out. I'll let you know. If I got power to it, it doesn't glow. It doesn't glow? Nope. And you keep these in the truck, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, they're not in my truck. But I, it's broken. I could tell already without taking it out. But that's why. I don't, have a res I don't have continuity or resistance going through it. I have an open line. Which means the coil is broken. I don't think it's from water leaking in, but I do know that this boiler was running with no pressure in it. I refilled it, that started leaking. I might have stopped it from leaking. side.
And here we go. Going on. This is better. Fresh air in. I've just been played with. Drain seems dry. This thing hasn't ran in a few days. There's the lighter.
more concerned with the initial fire. right up. So let's see what the problem with my intake. That job I left, that was last night, but I figured when I was watching and editing it that I couldn't just put it out ending how I just ended it. Unfortunately, that boiler is the water leak on the air vent I fixed when I tightened that up. There was another leak on a PEX tubing the homeowner used a shark tooth fitting on. He didn't want me to fix it, he wanted to fix that himself. Then there was that ignition flutter. He told me he was going to take care of it, not to get involved in it, just to put the igniter in. So that kind of left me in a weird spot, but I had him sign off about that. Or That's why I didn't go any further. I brought it up to his attention so this way it could be addressed and well that's all I could do there I mean I wish I could do more but that's what the customer wanted got to do what the customer wants I mean I had uh, somebody tell me I should probably do something like this at the end of my videos thing is I don't like looking at myself not for nothing in a like while I'm watching this I don't want to look at myself that's why I do a lot of like you're seeing a lot of first person you're seeing my hands I really don't want to be seeing me in my videos I don't know why I mean I'm sure a lot of people probably feel that way but I want to be looking at anything but myself I want to be looking at the equipment but all right I'm at my next stop well, have a good day. Today's Sunday. It's the 26th, I believe, being on 27th, January 27th. The days just keep meshing together when you're on call and you have no breaks. You're just rolling from one job to another job. I've been pretty busy this weekend. I have a few videos coming out. I had a busted igniter. I had another one on a out pilot. I had another one where I had a boiler with no pressure. So I mean, I have a few here and there in the back burners. The Mitsubishi one came out the week at, it came out I filmed that December 20th, but I couldn't get any of my movies or my videos I'm filming to come into my phone or onto my computer. It said all my memory was full. So before I started deleting, I figured you know what that Mitsubishi even though yeah, when you get into a system like that, you're not doing a lot of you're testing with a voltmeter here and there and stuff, but you need a service manual. You need to see what you're supposed to have at certain spots. I checked that customer too last night before posting that, and that was our last time in the house, other than they wanted an estimate on lifting that unit up because that's a heat pump. They didn't want it on the ground, because I mentioned to him that he shouldn't have the heat pump right there on the ground, because in Jersey, our snow grade's at least 18 inches. So, I mean, our first snowstorm, that thing is going to be buried. That's on a roof in Jersey City, so it's not what you want, is to have your heat pump buried in snow, especially because right now, well, at that point, he was running as main source of heat. Supposedly, he was getting his boiler replaced by somebody. I don't know who he had out there, but we were the diamond dealer in the area that, because for whatever reason, I don't know, he must have went online or whatever, but he found us, so... That's how I ended up there, but somebody else was doing his boiler over a gas valve he's replacing it. I should have mentioned something, but I was jammed that day. I had more calls to get to. But, hey, till next time, I'm out.